Yes. Now we will discuss about the medial longitudinal arch of the foot. First of all, we will discuss about the bony component of medial longitudinal arch of the foot. Here, this is first metatarsal, here is second metatarsal, this is third metatarsal, this is first, second and third metatarsal. Here is medial cuneiform, this is intermediate cuneiform and this is lateral cuneiform. This is medial, this is intermediate, this is lateral cuneiform bone. This bone is navicular. This is navicular bone. And here, this is head of talus. This is head of talus. And here is Calcanium. So in this diagram you can see this is calcanium, here is medial tubercle of the calcanium, this is medial tubercle of the calcanium, here is talus, talus, here is superior articular surface of the talus, this is superior articular surface of talus, here is navicular medial cuneiform, intermediate cuneiform, rectal cuneiform. It is first, second and third metatarsal bone. So these, all these bones form the medial longitudinal arch. This medial longitudinal arch has two ends. It has anterior end, this is posterior end. Anterior end is formed by here. Head of first, second, and third metatarsal. And posterior end is formed by medial tubercle of calcaneum. So this is medial tubercle of the calcaneum. And it has two pillars. It has anterior pillar from here to here. So anterior pillar is formed by first, second, third metatarsal medial, intermediate, lateral, cuneiform and navicular bone. This is anterior pillar. And posterior pillar is formed by this bone. This. This is calcaneum. So anterior pillar, posterior pillar. Anterior end, posterior end. And summit. Top is formed by this talus. Superior articular surface of the talus. So this part from the summit of the medial longitudinal arch. And main joint of this arch is palo calcaneo navicular. This joint is main joint of this arch. Palo calcaneo navicular is the main joint of this arch. And now we'll discuss about the factors responsible for maintaining the arch. Here, one ligament is present. This ligament is spring ligament. This is spring ligament. Or it is known as plantar calcaneo navicular ligament. It is also known as plantar Calcaneo 
navicular ligament so this is spring ligament or plantar calcaneo navicular ligament it for the intersegmental tie this is what segment this is what under this is for important inter segmental tie and there are other structures which form the tie beam here is plantar epidermis this is plantar epidermis plantar epidermis this is plantar epidermis and and the structure muscles of the first layer of the sole muscle of the first layer of the sole especially flexor digitorum brevis these structures forms tie beam this tie beam holds two ends so this is tie beam this is intersegmental tie and the structures which form slings are the supports the summit from upward so these structures are here this is tibialis posterior this is tibialis posterior and the structure is here is flexor digitorum longus and the structure is flexor hallucis longus so these structures tibialis posterior flexor digitorum longus flexor hallucis longus so these structures form the slings and support from medial side and and the structure that is tibialis anterior which lies here it this is tibialis anterior this tib tibialis anterior along with peroneus longus tendon which comes from lateral side and inserted on medial cuneiform and first metatarsal which comes from lateral side it form a tie up like structure which support this medial angle arch so this is the structures and support of the medial angle arch and factors responsible for maintaining the arch in case these structures suppose this spring ligament is weak or these structures weak then it become cracked foot or pes planus in case these structures become contracted then high arch foot is formed that is pes canus so this is all about the medial lamicular arch